Today we're going to look at frequency tables and tallies. A frequency table is used to show how many times frequency, a value, interval of values or category is represented. So it means that if we have a look at a set of values, a set of items that might be values, might be intervals of values, so from one value to another value for each sort of item, or a category, so each item might be a different category, maybe it's a different subject, so mathematics, science, English, history, something like that. A tally is a tool used for counting as results are gathered. So as we, as we get the data, using a tally can uh, easily help us keep track of how many of each different item we are counting. So for example here, we've got number of cars. So maybe it's the number of cars that each family has. Uh, zero, uh, zero cars, one car, two cars, and three cars. The tally would be as we go um, and as we survey people, we, we uh, move around the, the area that we, we're, uh, we're surveying or talking to people and we, we ask the person, how many cars do you have in your, in your family? And the person says, I have no cars. So, so we put a, t a, a tab next to the tally there um, in the tally column, just a one stroke. And then once we get to five, we can put a line through it. And that means that when it comes to counting, we can count in groups of five, which is much easier than counting each individual dash. So if we're going along and we're surveying uh, the people with two cars and we've got one, and then uh, we find someone that's, that's got one car and we, we put a tab and tally next to them, once we get four, five in any one category, we can put a line through the four that we've collected previous. And that's a group of five. It's sort of like bundled up in, in, a, in a group there. So then it's very, very easy to say, well, how many people did we survey that, uh, that had no cars? Well, uh, five, ten. So the frequency is ten. Uh, here, how many did we survey that had one car? Five, ten plus two is twelve. So that's twelve. Here, uh, how many did we survey, uh, how many people that we surveyed uh, had two cars? Five. It's just one bundle there. So five. And how many people did we survey uh, had three cars? And three people had uh, said that they had three cars at home. So this is the way we can collect data very easy uh, and later on we'll be able to actually expand our uh, frequency table to, to in include a whole bunch of more information that can, can be very useful to us in helping to kind of analyse exactly what's going on with the data and, and what patterns we see with the data. So here we've got an example, uh, put the following data into a frequency table uh, and so these, are the, these might be um, and the number of, of, uh, of, of siblings in a household or something like that and we survey the first person says one, second person says four, first person says one, then four, then one, then two, etc. until we get all of this data. So here we've got all the different possible numbers. So we've looked at, looked at our numbers and gone, what's the smallest number? Well, one, okay, and what's the biggest number? Six, so we need all the numbers from one, one through to six. So they're nice and continuous. One, two, three, four, five, six, there. Okay, we haven't skipped any numbers and we're gonna do a tally now. So we have a look, the first one's a one, so we put a dash there. Then there's a four, a one, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a six, one, a five, one, and now we've gotten to five ones, so I can put a dash through it, a two, and one again, okay? So if we just uh, count up the numbers now, we can look at our tally, so we've tallied at six there for our first one, two for two, uh, one for three, three for four, one for five, and one for six. So if we add up all of the numbers in our frequency column, we should actually see we get the same number of, uh, of values that we've collected. So six plus two is eight, uh, nine, 12, uh, 13, 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Great, so we, we've checked and we've, we've made sure we haven't missed any of our, of our numbers. And you can see getting the tally is much uh, a very easy way to count. Um, and we can make sure that we don't miss any of the numbers as we go along that way. So we can see here that um, just looking at some basic patterns in the data, we can see that the number one is the, is the most frequent. It's got six, uh, there are six ones in our data set. Uh, the next, next most common is going to be three there. Uh, sorry, four with three, a frequency of three. So four is the, is the second most frequent number. 
Uh, if these are single values, these are single values, but they could be anything. They could be categories. Okay, so that might these these categories could be maths, could be mathematics, it could be uh, science, it could be English and other subjects, uh, and maybe maybe history or and whatever. Okay, so these all could be different subjects, and we could be interviewing each person and saying, oh, which do you prefer out of, out of these, uh, these subjects? And the first person might say maths, so we put a tally next to maths. The next person might say history, so we put a tally next to history. Next person says maths again, and then history again, uh, and then maths, and then someone throws in a science there. Um, so that, that, this can be a way to survey people with, with different categories, not just different uh, number values, so uh, number of siblings or, or number of cars or, or something like that. Um, we can also look for uh, range. So if we've got a really massive difference between the, the lowest number and the highest number, here we've only got between one and six, but if we had uh, a difference of, of maybe for heights, so maybe we're looking at 100 centimetres all the way to 200 centimetres, that's a big gap. Maybe we'd want to do that in, in gaps of uh, 10 centimetres. So maybe we want, we'd want to have, for heights, maybe we'd want to have 100 to 109 centimetres, then 110 to 119, uh, 120 to 129, etc. So we can have these at intervals of values. So we might have someone who is 105, but they fit into that, into that category. Then someone maybe is 126, and they fit into this category. One, someone who's 119, and they fit into this category. And so on and so on. You might want to do a tally that way. Uh, and so, so for, for larger ranges of numbers, we'd often use intervals like this.